Hi, I'm, from, I'm Prophet Manasseh, and we're back at live streaming, and we have Little Mama here. And uh, Little Mama, give the people a brief uh, synopsis about your testimony on how God was able to uh, uh, give you the talent, to give you the gift to reach out to the young people and also to be uh, a celebrity at this time. Uh, well, my mother, uh, my mother, I would have to say, was sent by God. She gave me the word. She kept me focused. And... Um, it's pretty much, it's pretty much, it, it, there's different ways to see the vision of God. And I think a lot of people have difficulties on touching it because it's so simple. And like following my intuition and, and just being good, it's like God is good. God is grace. And like, you know, the devil is bad. Mm -hmm. You have to, you have to find that right track and just ride it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And um, ever since I was a child, uh, when you stayed I'm not perfect. You know, mm -hmm. everybody make mistakes, but um, I've always uh, tried to just live on a good path and, make sure that I'm living righteous and you know how have how have some of the principles that I'm sure that you know you we grew up in church together you know the principles that uh, that the master prophet Bishop Jordan has taught uh, and, and your mother I always remember your mother being in church as well has helped to impact your life to make you into who you are today to this day Wow how has Bishop Jordan are you principles saying? yeah uh, has an impact on my life. Mm. Hmm. This is a tough one. No, <laughs> I'm only joking. Uh, I would have to say because, because the word has so much to do with the lifestyle that I was living, mm. because he was always able to use examples from things that I was already going through mm. and bringing it to the light and, and giving me examples of things that were happening every day mm. um, made, it, made it, I would have to say, it made it easy. Mm. for me to understand God mm -hmm. and walk with God. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, um, making me nervous. <laughs> I'm only kidding. But um, I would have to say, Bishop, Bishop in a way raised my mother mm. and myself. Mm. Um, he gave her direction. Uh, my father definitely played a major role in my life. However, when you don't have that person in your household, mm -hmm. a woman still looks for direction. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I would have to say that because my mother was able to see Bishop on Saturday nights, uh, Sundays, uh, or any other day that Bishop would just call in for people to just come in and have church before, before the live streaming even started, um, he would give her direction mm -hmm. with her everyday life, uh, show her ways to just bless her home, like, um, speak a word speak mm -hmm. the speak the speak the word of god in our house this way we would pick it up mm -hmm. because subconsciously or consciously it's like you can teach your children one thing on sunday morning if you go home and you're you're just cussing crazy mm -hmm. uh and and you're, you're damning god and it's like god doesn't even exist anymore god no longer exists in your household you have to live it you know mm -hmm. what i mean and bishop has has taught not only my mother but other people who have come to the church to understand that you are god you have to live it mm -hmm. you can't just pretend on a Sunday morning or afternoon and then when you go home everything's just changed. I mean, mm. she lived it mm. and um, she, she told me to live it. Mm. Now, now I know that um, you speak a lot about the word. Um, I want to talk about the prophetic mm -hmm. and how, how has the prophetic, uh, the, the prophecies, you know, um, you know, I know that I understand Zoe Ministries is known for the prophetic and the uh, and Bishop Jordan's prophetic ability. How has that, and as well as your mother, have has had a major effect on uh, your life and your family's life? Wow. Um, the word has had an effect in my life in so many different ways. Uh, my prophecies always come to pass. Mm. Always, always come to pass. Uh, I believe it was Prophetess Cynthia. When I was about six years old, she stood over me, and uh, it was it was it was my mother, my brothers, and myself. We were uh, standing before the prophets, and there was change on the floor because uh, we were we were celebrating the change for change, mm. and everyone would throw the change at the uh, at, at Bishop's feet, and uh, to make a change. And we had the prophets standing there, and they were giving my family a prophecy. And uh, like I said, I believe it was Prophet Cynthia. And she uh, stood over me, and she put her hands on me. And then she stood back, and she said, whoa. Immediately, I saw seas. 
I saw you overseas. Mm. And I see you traveling. Mm. I don't know what you're going to do, but you're going to be traveling overseas. And I was like, and I was giggling and laughing. You know, I was a kid and I was just laughing at her and I'm just laughing. And I'm like, this lady is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> And my mother's like, stop it. Don't play with God. <laughs> you know? And um, my prophecy definitely come to pass because I, I've traveled to Japan.